friend of mine recently got a job getting paid $100 per hour. He's always been a businessman like me, and so never worked per hour. But now that he's a jobby, he gets an hourly wage. This update has been interesting to me, because now he knows exactly how much his time is worth per hour, and he thinks in this now. And there's some lessons that we can take from this. That whatever you're doing throughout the day, whether it's walking your dog, fixing your car, if you weren't doing this, looking at it like you could be working and making $100, it allows us to think, is this trade-off worth it? If it takes an hour to do something, weigh in your mind if you would pay $100 to do it. If every time you hung out with a friend, you had to pay them $100, would you? Do you get enough out of that friendship to make it worth it? Now, if you were mad at someone and you spent an hour walking around in a rage, would you be able to justify burning a $100 bill in order to be mad? What about holding grudges? People hold on to grudges for years, lifetimes. Is that really worth your life? No person hands out their money to passers-by, but to how many do each of us hand out our lives? We're tight-fisted with property and money, yet think too little of wasting time, the one thing about which we should all be the toughest misers. When we do things, think about what it's costing us. Think about what we could be doing with that time, because that clock is ticking away. As Seneca says, let all your activity be directed to some object. Let it have some end in view. And so yes, we have to work. We have to earn a living. But we should ideally spend most of our time in enjoyment of what we're doing. We should be doing things that challenge us, that are enjoyable, that are worth it to us. Things that bring fulfillment and spending time with loved ones. Time will pass. And if we aren't conscious to that fact, we'll end up wasting away our lives in pursuits that mean nothing. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if we're all well invested. But when it is wasted in heedless luxury and spent on no good activity, we are forced at last, by death's final constraint, to realize that it has passed away before we knew it was passing.